Hey! So, of course I'm here to do another episode of my Create This Book series. Today I'm going to start with page 28, and the directions say, Create Simplistic Drawings. Fill this page with stick figure drawings. I just thought that this would be a fun thing to do because it's like... Back to the basics, you know, everyone can draw stick figures. It's just uh, another opportunity to get creative with it and do something interesting. Page 199. Create textures. Fill this page with a variety of different textures. Visual or physical textures apply. Ooh. So what I mean by the visual or physical is like if you wanted to literally take like a piece of velvet and put it in here as a texture that you actually feel, you could do that. Or you could like draw a texture. Hair is bothering me so bad. is page 117. It says, create a pair. Draw a set of twins. I just think that twins are cool and awesome and so there should be a page dedicated to them. This doesn't necessarily have to be human twins. You could do twin cupcakes. Just as long as there's two of them, um, that's, that's all this page is asking. Okay, moving on to page 27, and it says, Create a meal. Draw slash write about your ideal meal. Don't forget about dessert. So obviously you could also take a picture or find a picture online of your favorite meal, whatever you want. Also, this whole book is kind of about like, I don't know, making a keepsake, something that you can look back on, and I think most people throughout their lives, what you like to eat changes, so this is one of those things that would be kind of interesting to look back on, so... So page 39, it says, create quick sketches. Choose an object, draw it in one minute or less. No cheating. Repeat, choose a different object each time. So basically, you're just going to choose something, a flower, say, and then draw that flower in 60 seconds or less. 
no cheating, so don't take any longer than 60 seconds, and then repeat it using a different object. I would say that basically the only rules are that the final drawing has to be done in one minute, but you could go back and like add color to it if you wanted to. This is another one of those experimental pages where you don't really know how it's going to turn out, but you do it and just have faith that things are going to be okay. Page 86. Create embarrassment. Capture the feeling of embarrassment on this page. I actually have no idea how I came up with this prompt. It's really random, but I have an idea for it. So I'm going to do this one today. Create unlikely art. Make art out of ordinary subjects, household objects, numbers, logos. Okay. So yeah, um, a lot of concepts that are in this book are about looking at things in a new way. You know, just things around you that seem so ordinary. When you look at them, they're kind of interesting. That's what this is about. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be going over the pages that I did and just explaining them a little bit. So I'm going to start with this page, which I think turned out really cute. I really like this page. I just did basically like a city corner and just little stick figures walking around doing different things. Um, and then I just did the sky and like kind of rainbow uh, with colored pencils. And actually I've gotten like tons of requests from you guys to do like a tutorial type video on how to blend colored pencils and uh, like I feel like I'm not that great of a teacher but since so many of you have asked I will do a video on it and I'll do my best to show you how I do that. The link for that video will be in the description if you're interested you can check it out. Another page that I did was the create a meal. Basically I just did the food on this side and the dessert on this side and then this like radiating effect with like the colors from the dessert on this side and then the colors from the food on this side. If that makes sense to you then good. So obviously I did Chipotle food which okay maybe that's not obvious. I don't know if you've never heard of Chipotle or 
never been there, then I'm sorry. It's like my favorite place to eat. It's it's a, a Mexican food restaurant. And this page, which ended up a lot more like complicated than I had originally planned, but you can see all of her stepped animals are the one minute sketches that I did. And then I was going to just color them and be done, but I left them white and just colored the entire background. I just made like a bedroom setting. And the embarrassment page. Oh, I think this page is like really funny. I don't know what is supposed to be happening here. Um, I just had the idea to like do a face in black and white and then like the cheeks in red for embarrassment. Um, but I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do a boy face or a girl face. So I just did both of them and they're kind of like looking at each other. I don't know what's happening between the two of them but they're both embarrassed about it. I don't know. So most of this is just regular graphite pencil that I've blended out. Um, but for some of the darker areas, I did use a black Prismacolor pencil, a pink colored pencil for the girl cheeks, and then red for the boy cheeks. Because, you know, girl embarrassment is pink and boy embarrassment is red. That's very obvious. Oh, the twin page. So I just did a bunch of different Polaroid photos of different um, twins. I came up with names for them and wrote their names and then what year it is. Just, I don't know, I just made it up. Uh, apparently this looks like it's from 2002. I don't know. I really like these little babies and I really like these two. I just think they're really cute. So the ordinary object that I chose was a refrigerator. <laughs> Hopefully you can tell that these are refrigerators, but um, they're just open refrigerators with food inside of them. And the texture page, I drew this cat here because cats have fur and fur has texture. And just like all these weird textures. But yeah, it's a black and white page, which is very rare for my book. Okay, so before I go, I just want to make some quick announcements to you guys. First of all, um, my website is up now. I've had a website. Um, previously, but I just redid it. If you want to just look at it and see what's on it, you can go into the description. Something that I wanted to mention about my website is that there are t-shirts available on it. And that's because some people kind of asked to like make t-shirts with some of the things that I draw and I thought it was kind of a good idea. At this point there are four designs on there and they're all from either my Create This Book or my Wreck This Journal. They're pretty new so I haven't even gotten mine yet but they're coming in the mail here pretty soon so I will probably be wearing them um, in the next couple of videos if you want to see how they look. If you have seen anything in the past in my books that you would like on a t-shirt or anything that I do in the future, um, you can just comment below and ask and I will try my best to make a t-shirt out of that design. Um, also if there's a certain kind of shirt that you would like, you know, if you really want this design on a v-neck or you want this design on a long sleeve or this design on a tank top. Just let me know and I will most likely be able to get that up for you. And one more thing, I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I'm pretty sure most of you have already pieced out by now, but if you've stayed this long, thank you. I know that some of you wanted to buy the book, um, but were not in the United States or in Europe, so could not get it off of Amazon. Um, so I have included a link in the description to a site that I believe ships internationally, so you should be able to get it no matter where. You're located so if you're interested in getting the book and you're not in Europe or the United States please check out that link um, and let me know if you're able to get it from wherever you are now that I've been talking for ages anyway I might as well say thank you guys so much for anyone who has purchased this book or just watched this series at all because I really appreciate it um, and especially to those people who have got the book and made series on it um, it's like my favorite thing watching your guys' videos. I love to see what you guys do with the pages and your ideas for the prompts. I have made a playlist of all of the people that I've seen on YouTube who have made Create This Book series. You can go to my channel and scroll down to the bottom and the playlist is called like other Create This Book series on YouTube or something like that. Um, and there are a lot of like really talented people who have done the book so I'm like so excited. But um yeah. Alright, bye guys.